Hi guys, it's Dakota. Hope everybody's doing well. Uh, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. I hope that you enjoy. I hope that you will uh, look around at some of the other videos. <clears throat> Maybe there's something that will spark your interest. Um, and uh, yeah, a couple things. One, if you're new here, I don't edit. I don't have special lighting. Um, there probably will be some bloopers because I don't edit. <laughs> um, I am not aesthetic. This is as bad as aesthetic as I get. I'm just sort of straightforward. Um, I am uh, a bit out of the box, which I think most, uh, I would hope that most people are out of the box that are practice uh, practitioners of the craft. Um, you should be doing your own thing, um, not what someone tells you is uh, the right way or the wrong way, you know, what feels right to you, I guess. Um, I have something really, really super cool. So welcome, by the way, welcome. <laughs> um, okay, so I have something that uh, I started this last year and I was going to do a video last year and I never did it. So uh, I don't know why, just busy and all of that. Oh, and speaking of videos, I'm sorry, I'm going to start here in just one second. <laughs> speaking of videos, I do try to do a video every other week. It used to be every week and it just got to be too much. Um, I don't know how, I don't know how those of you who edit, who have special lighting, who have all these special things that pop up on the screen in between your videos, um, I don't have time to do all of that, and I'm a slow learner. I wish that I could at least learn how to do a couple things different, um, but I'm just not going to worry about it. I'm doing a video. Uh, got my channel, and it is what it is, I, and, and that's all it is. I'm just me being me, and um, you either like it or you don't. We all have choices, so uh, yeah, hopefully you'll like it. Yay! Okay. So, uh, this is really something that uh, is really very special. I wanted to do it last year, and I just never did. Busy and all of that. And I actually had something else I was going to do today, as usual. I always do this. <clears throat> I always have something planned. And then as soon as I like get into the cottage, I'm, uh, my mind goes somewhere else. I think the energy in here is just so incredibly whew, you know that it goes not today we're going to do this and so i just go with the flow but last year i um actually had uh wanted to do this and this is something that i do every year first of all today's video is called luna moth magic um so that that was on the thing so it was no surprise <laughs> luna moth magic and um so we have a farm here we have a farm and we have bats in the summer and they're adorable and i love them and i i i, I can't wait for the bats to come every year usually they're here by now they're not here um i think it's because the weather has been so wonky <laughs> this year i'm um, here we are i mean like the end of may almost and um it's still kind of cold it's not cold today <laughs> but it's been cold night times cold and um so i haven't seen the the the, uh, the bats now i also have not seen and i do see these every year because every year it is a ritual for me every morning i come out we have a uh security light uh, right here um, at the edge of our where we park our cars here in the driveway and um, the luna moth as you saw in the intro the luna moth is out usually and the bat sadly <laughs> the bat the sole purpose of a luna moth is food for the bat. It's food, that, a food for whatever. Birds, they're uh, nocturnal. So I don't think, it, what, if there's a nocturnal bird, then maybe he's eating the luna moth. But the bats in particular, uh, that is their main source of food, the luna moth. Well, I shouldn't say their main source of food, but it's one of their best 
dishes. <laughs> um, and it's what's sad about it is that the Luna Moth, as you saw, is just so stunningly beautiful. I just love them. Well, when the bat eats the moth, uh, it only eats the body, of course. It doesn't eat the wings and all of that. And I will go out in the morning, and I'm not kidding you, I will see the wings just like this. How the bat does it, I have no idea. But the wings will be just like this, only the body is missing. Oh, I hate it. But I can't just leave those wings. <laughs> um, so I do pick up the wings. There are times that I use the wings as offerings in the garden, um, you know, uh, to whoever, whatever. I don't know if bugs, if anything, eats wings or not. Um, but they're beautiful, and I, I just can't leave them on the grass to just, you know, do nothing. So I'll put them in the gardens or, you know, take them out into the woods and, and you know, offer them to the land spirits or anybody, anything, whatever wants it or not. Um, but I do collect them. I collect them. And I collect them because every once in a while, I've maybe done this a total of three or four times, I do this Luna, this Luna Moth magic. And that's what I wanted to share with you today. However, <laughs> if you're new here, um, I'm going to just give you a little bit of info um, about the Luna Moth and how this all kind of came about for me. So like I said, the Luna Moth, its sole purpose, and I, by the way, I have notes here, so I'm going to be looking at my notes because they're, they were all scattered. All these notes were scattered throughout my books, and um, I kind of wanted to, you know, keep somewhat of a format. Oh, yeah, I know. I kind of wanted to keep somewhat of a format so that I didn't lose too many people. And um, so I, I just kind of have to look at my notes. I'm sorry. <clears throat> but the Luna Moth, um, the Luna Moth does not have a mouth. They do not have a mouth. Their sole purpose is food, to be food. And in this case, I'm just going to say for the bat, whatever else eats Luna Moth. But the Luna Moth's sole purpose is food. It does not have a mouth. And so its lifespan is only about um, somewhere between five and seven days-ish, like right in there. It's really, I mean, I feel so bad because the Luna Moth is so gorgeous. It's just so beautiful. And you just wonder like, why, you know, why are you so beautiful? And yet you only have, you know, a week uh, to live. So with that, one day when I was collecting the moths, and this is something that I teach my students. My, I have a metaphysical store and I teach a witchcraft 101 course. It's based on a year and a day. It is not Wicca. However, there is some of that intertwined with uh, witchcraft because I think it is extremely important. Uh, if you watch any of my videos, you'll hear me say it probably in every video. Um, it's really important because it's really important. You need to have a root and a foundation as to why you are doing that. Why you are doing this ritual. Why you are doing this spell work. Why you're, you know, we need to understand the whys. So what I teach my class is I'm constantly telling them, start observing, observe, observe, observe. You have to observe everything. Look around. This isn't just a leaf. Look at the leaf. What do you see in the leaf? Where did it come from? What's its purpose? Da, 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 all the things. Have you ever, when it's breezy outside and the trees are blowing? And for me, it's great because I live in the woods. And uh, I have a special place um, that I go in the woods. <clears throat> and um, on a breezy day, <clears throat> pardon me, I'll just sit there, or stand there, whatever. I just close my eyes and I just, first I look, I, I, I look up, I look at the canopy, I look at the trees, I, I watch the leaves, how they're moving. And then I close my eyes and I listen. Because here's the thing, 
If you're a big leaf, a small leaf, a thick leaf, a thin leaf, when you blow, y'all have different sounds. There are different, they make different sounds. So I love to try to identify the different sounds. I want to hear the different sounds, not just, you know, I want to hear the different sounds. Same thing with the birds. Um, I love listening to the birds and trying to identify the different bird chirps. Um, I'm not really good um, at identifying birds. I, I have my bird identifier app on my phone <laughs> uh, and I do try to listen uh, to the different interpretations or, you know, they're, they're different little chirps and stuff to identify the bird. Um, but I'm telling you, <laughs> Mother Earth has given us a gift. And when I talk about the Luna Moth, you're going to see how special this, this is. And my gift, is, when I look at the, when I look at Mother Earth and I go, my gosh, you know, you've given us a planet to stand on that is so vibrant. And yeah, I am so sorry that man has chosen to destroy it basically um but every tree is special every plant is special every bug and insect is special if you're a spider please don't come to my house um, i have arachnophobia okay so um but everything is it's just glorious and we are so busy we are so busy we are rushing over here and rushing over there we got to do this we got to do that we got to go 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 all the time you need to just stop and soak it in just soak it in that luna moth reminded me of that the luna moth only has about a week to live whether it's lucky enough not to get eaten by a bat I don't know which is better to get eaten right away so you're not starving i don't know do they starve <laughs> um and is that painful then or to just get you know get taken immediately by a bat and and there's no pain involved or suffering involved you just boom you just get eaten and, and it's over but you only have about a week give or take to live that i looked at that and i went you know, and it was one day when I was doing, walking around the property, walking back into the woods, and I went, you know, it's true. I know I sound like really like one of those things, you know, like, oh, life is short. But it is. It is. And we are in such a hurry. We are so sidetracked by, oh, they don't like me. Oh, I don't like them. Oh, I hate work. I hate this. I hate that. Blah, blah, blah. You're so busy that you don't, you don't realize how much you're going to miss, you know? Oh my God. I, I wish I was a straw so that I could just, I want to just suck it all in. I want to suck this planet in everything. I, I love everything. Except people sometimes. You know, because we are the ones, we are the ones that have choices and we choose to cut those woods down and we choose to be nasty and we choose to have road rage and we choose, you know, it's slow down. You're going to miss this gift. You're going to miss it. Observe everything. Observe everything. The Luna Moth. The Luna Moth. I'm also going to be talking a little bit about the Witch's Pyramid, not so much about the Witch's Pyramid. I do have a video. I'll try to remember to link it below uh, on the Witch's Pyramid. Um, but seriously, if you are following um, this witchcraft path, this spiritual, whatever this path is called, I hate labels. Um, the Witch's Pyramid is the tremendous, powerful foundation 
and I it's I use it I use it all right so I collect the Luna Moth wings as I find them because they're beautiful <laughs> and I can't imagine just leaving it on the grass to just you know rot away or whatever happens to them um, so I do collect them I offer them to I offer them to Mother Earth to the woods to the gardens to the land spirits to whatever would enjoy a moth a luna moth wing I um, have done about three or four times now I think um, this luna moth magic that I'm going to do for you today and I hope that you enjoy it and if you have luna moths uh, in your area and you find the wings please don't just find a live luna moth and do this you know I mean really they only have a short period of time to live let them live so um, if you take the luna moth this is the back like the hind I don't know the correct terminology wing you can see like the little veins or whatever they are in the wing you can see the little spot right there looks like an eye um that's what i and so when i when i had this moment and i looked at the luna moth wing i was like wow you know i talk about observing all the time you can ask any of my students it's always you know observe everything slow down slow down and smell the roses truly do it <laughs> the luna moth has an eye and on its wings it's observe it observe that's what i got the message from just looking at that little eyeball thing on the wing like observe i have found luna moths hiding under leaves and stuff in the woods or on the edge of the woods um because i observe you know i look i i, I just i let myself be guided to look if that makes sense i don't mean to sound all like woo woo spiritual all that stuff i'm just saying that that's what i do i just Ask the universe, you know, show me what I need to see. That's how I work. Um, okay. Then the other thing is, well, can't really tell here. And these are somewhat faded. Um, oops, and that's the back side. Okay. They, um, they're a beautiful green. A, they're earthy. It's an earthy, earthy green earth this is amazing this is one of the wings up close like shoulder area <laughs> i don't know how to describe the wing this i want you to look at this see the eyeball uh, see the green observe this do you see this brown edge and see that little thing does it look like a twig to you does it look like a branch to you, like a little twig? It does to me. They have these twig patterns on the edge of their wings. The wing itself, air. They have no mouth, silent. So they are only able to observe. They fly and they observe. They, they can't eat. The Luna Moth is that continual, is, is to know, which is pyramid now, to know. To know is that continual knowledge continuing to learn continuing to think 
and to process what it is that we see that we're doing. And it is the element of air. So it's thought. To dare. To dare. How is that? To dare is on the witch's pyramid is water. And it is about intuition and being different. Um, be the black sheep. Who cares? I mean, we, I hear this over and over and over again, whatever. I don't care. Yeah, you do care. You do care because you're following the masses. You know, you're following the masses. You're whatever you're, you're doing, whatever you think is going to get somebody else's approval. <clears throat> I've got to be thin. I've got to be fit. <clears throat> I have to have the right hair. I've got to have the right makeup. Um, be different. Explore the mysteries. Explore the unknown. Water. If you dive into, dive into the unknown. Be different. Um, water, for me with the Luna Moth, became its body. That is the food. That is life. The body is his life. And this is our life. So, to dare. To will. To will is to manifest and to, um, to change. To, um, and, and you know, the, the Luna Moth is definitely about to will because the Luna Moth is a caterpillar and he, he manifests, he changes transformation. We will it, so mote it be. He was a caterpillar, goes into the chrysalis, the cocoon, comes out as this <laughs> stunning moth whose sole purpose is food. His, he gives of his life so that others can live. And then, um, and, and to will is, is uh, fire, to will is fire. Um, make it so, you know, it's passion. Fire is, is movement, it's, it's active, so. Silent, like I said, no mouth. Okay, well, in our practice, we uh, we practice like like don't go telling every everybody that you know what your spell work was. Um, I'm going to show you my magic, my Luna Moth magic, but I'm not going to tell you everything about it. No, I'm not. That's private. That's, that's where I'm going to remain silent about it or to be silent about it. Um, because, uh, there is a thing, I don't know, you know, I, I'm just going to throw this out here about, uh, people countering your magic. If you, if you say too much and they don't like it, they can counter it with counter magic, you know? So I'm not going to say everything that I do. And if you've watched my videos where I've done spell work, I've shown you, I did this spell work for a client. Client has given me permission, but I'm not telling you everything about what it is that I did. And maybe I'm doing the same exact thing, only I'm using different things, like different, different herbs, different whatever, uh, different words. I, you know, uh, it's different. I'm putting it together different. So I, I'm not telling you exactly, uh, just like, you know, the books will tell you, 
you need this herb and this and this and this and this and do this first and on full moon only and blah, 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 blah. I mean, great, do that, do that. But also dare to be different, dare to be different. So instead of whatever, you know, instead of, I don't know, rosemary, use thyme, <laughs> you know? I mean, you got to really do your work, research your work, be different. Don't do what the next guy is doing. Be special, be different. Slow down, think about what you're doing. Observe what you're doing. Um, so silent, to be silent is uh, earth. And, um, you know, the, the Luna Moth also is earth um, because not only does the Luna Moth fly, but, um, which is air, but it can also land. It can land on a branch. It can land on a leaf. And it came as a crawly, as a caterpillar. Earth. Um, so you're going to want to, you know, uh, you want to accept the truth of your failings. And um, because that is how you learn. Um and I, this was in one of the other books. It's foolish to, ha and I don't know if I copied this from somewhere. I'm pretty sure I did. It doesn't sound like my exact words. Uh, it's foolish to have blind faith with no grounding um, of inner self. I love that. That is so true. Uh, blind faith. Um, you know, uh, it's it's. You have to pay, you have to stay vigilant. You have to, uh, you just have to. Okay, I'm going to put this down. Okay, so what I've done is I took the wings, um, two at the top here and two of his tail wings, okay? And actually what I'm doing is I'm sort of creating a magical grid, if you will, um, a, replica, a replication of the Luna Moth, I guess, if you will. I have some dandelions here, and I'm putting those here. I'll, I'll face it that way so you can see them as the eyes of the dandelion. I mean, <laughs> eyes of the dandelion, yes indeed. The eyes of the Luna Moth. Okay, I hope you can see that. For the Luna's body, I went out to find a stick uh, and I actually um, came across this, this size um, from Ancestor Oak that sits right out in front of the cabin and I decided, oh, that's perfect. So now we have Luna's body. And what I'm going to do is, sorry, I gotta get these. I'm going to put garnet. This is garnet, which is deep, deep red, blood red. I'm putting one on each side of the Luna Moth's body just to represent that blood, the sacrifice, um, you know, that the Luna Moth made. I have Lumerian lasers, laser points. And I'm going to lay them out. Um, I 
pointing in. Oops, that's the wrong one. I'm going to use that one for something else. So the lasers are pointing in towards the Luna Moth's body. I'm going to put one um, at the bottom and one at the top. So I'm using this as an as a gift of energy back to the in appreciation in appreciation of the spirit of the Lunamoth and what just she he gives to me just in viewing the wings. It is literally the witch's pyramid. And I love the part, I don't love that the poor Luna doesn't have a mouth, but that be silent speaks wonders to me. And so I've, I will be asking the universe to bring in the points are towards the center here. So I'm asking the universe to bring in to this resemblance uh, uh, of the Luna Moth as a gift of thanks. I'll be doing some energy work with it, just holding hands, uh, sending gratitude to Mother Earth, gratitude to the Luna Moth, um, and just, you know, gratitude, uh, for the knowledge I have of the, uh, witch's pyramid and all that it, um, all that it has offered me over the years, um, because it has literally, when you work it, it, uh, oops, when you work it, and you see it, you observe it, you feel it, and it and it changes, changes you. So, uh, so that's what I'm going to do. And I just had this weird thing because when I put my hands above the grid, I'm going to end here. Wow! Only when I get real close. It's, it's, I feel a warm energy. This is fantastic. So here it is. It's very simple. And at the same time, it is enormous. It is enormous. What is happening here? So that is all I have for you this week. Thank you so much for tuning in. I, oh, yeah, but I'm on my laptop, by the way. So, um, thank you for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed it. And I hope to see you next time with more, uh, content. Uh, if there's anything and also look, I am open. If there's anything that you would like me to cover or more information about or anything like that, if I have the knowledge about it, I certainly would love to do a video about it. All right. So yeah. So let me know comments below. Thanks for watching. Be kind and see you next time. Bye guys.